What is going on guys welcome back to another video of chat application development in android studio in last video we have successfully sent otp now in this video we will verify that otp and also we will work on this resend button so let's get back to the project here we have done with the send otp method we can minimize this from here so that it will look good set in progress is also done we can minimize this we have to work on this method also now we will verify the otp that is entered by user so for that on click of next button so here next button dot set on click listener new on click listener so here you can use lambda also so if you want to use lambda here it will say replace with lambda so on click of next button what we will do first we will take the otp from the user so for that string entered otp equals to otp input dot get text dot to string so we'll get the entered otp by the user and we will verify that if it is verified we will call sign in method so to verify this otp we have this verification code since we have set this verification code after sending the otp we will use that phone auth provider dot get credential we have get credential and here we will pass the verification id and sms code as you can see over here so verification code sms code is entered otp so in this way it will get the credential it will provide us the credential that will be phone auth credential credential equals to this now in the same way we have called the sign in method from automatically verification from here also we will call sign in credential will be this credential when user input the otp we will come to this here we will check the otp verification and if it is correct we will navigate the user to next activity so when user click on sign in also we have to set in progress will be true so that it will take some time and it will show the in progress things so when we are in sign in first thing we will do is set in progress will be true so that we will show the progress bar now we will use firebase auth so firebase auth we have m auth m auth dot sign in with credential we have one method sign in with credential that will be our phone auth credential that's it it will allow us to sign in but we have to add on complete listener so that we will know when it is completed so dot add on complete listener enter it we have to register the callback so new on complete listener click on that put semicolon over here on complete method is called after sign in is completed but it can be fail also so if task dot is successful if task is successful that means it is verified else that means it is not verified in else part we will show the message so android util dot show toast get application context message will be otp verification failed that's it so in else part it will show the message in if part that means we are successfully verified the otp so we will go to next activity so intent intent equals to new intent login otp activity dot this comma login username activity dot class we'll go to next activity and intent in the same way we should put phone number so that we can use that in another activity key will be phone and phone number start activity intent so when task is complete we have to set in progress to false also so when otp verification is complete we will go to next activity so let's run it and test it it is working or not so since we have test phone number we will use test phone number every time one one i have entered this as test phone number click on send otp it will send the otp the otp is 1111 but i will enter wrong otp for now click on next it is saying otp verification failed so if you enter wrong otp it will say otp verification failed if you enter correct otp that is 6 time 1 i'll click on next you are in this username activity that means our otp verification is successful so to check that you can go to firebase console click on authentication over here you can see this phone number we have already authenticated and you can see the phone number and the user uid over here that means our flow is working fine 
Now we will work on recent OTP button. If OTP is not received in some seconds, we will again activate that recent button. So let's go to our code. So first thing we will do is when we send the OTP first, when we send the OTP in send OTP method, at first we will say start resend timer. This will be our method so that our recent timer will be started. So let's go at last and create void start recent timer. So here we will do the recent things. So at first that recent text view will be disabled so that user can't click on that. So set enabled will be false so that user can't click that. We'll start a timer with new timer. So timer will be scheduled at fixed rate. So we can schedule the timer at fixed rate we have to provide the timer task and we have to provide delay that will be zero and period will be thousand that will be every second it will run at fixed rate. So inside this run method what we will do we have assigned this 60 L 60 L as a timeout second. So we'll reduce this every time. So what we will do is timeout seconds minus minus every second it will be reduced recent OTP text view will be we will set some message like resend OTP in seconds. So in some second we will resend. So we will so it will be timeout seconds. So if it is 60 resend OTP in 60 second and every second it will be reduced. Now what if it is zero second? So after if if timeout seconds reach to zero that means less than equal to zero if it reaches to zero again we will set timeout seconds to 60 and we will uh, timer will be cancelled timer dot cancel and we will enable the text view because we have disabled over here we will again enable so that user can click that so for that we are in different thread so we should run on ui thread so run on ui thread new runnable so you can use lambda over here just replace with lambda run on ui thread we will do recent otp text view dot set enabled it will be true so after 60 second that means if second reaches zero again it will assign 60 second and that button will be enabled now we have to set on click on this button so for that we will go to on create method over here like we have assigned to next button we have to assign to recent OTP text view also set on click listener use lambda here what I will do I will just call this method send OTP send OTP phone number will be phone number and is recent it will be true since we were sending false at first time then it is is recent so is recent will be true now our recent OTP things are also done we can test it run it enter the phone number click on send OTP so sometime it will ask for recapture because we are calling this frequently so select the bridge OTP sent successfully so as you can see timer was already started from 60 it reaches to 27 second and when we click on it it will not work because it is disabled as you can see this is disabled over here so let's wait for seconds So as you can see it has reached to 0 second and it is now enabled. We can again click on this so that OTP will be resend. Click on this again it will ask for captcha. Now OTP is sent successfully again it timer is started. So our OTP is also working fine if we enter wrong OTP failed and if we enter correct OTP it will go to next activity. So in next video we will store the user information in the Firestore database so that we can use it later. That will be our phone number and username we will store it in the Firestore database. So if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button. If you have any doubts and queries please comment below I will reply for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going. See you in the next video. Bye bye.